What's a company secret you can share now that you don't work there? I used to work for a company that rhymes with Muzzbeat and we used to have somebody post this question every few months for material for one of our clickbait articles. Used to work at a graphic design firm. All our Adobe software was pirated. I used to work surveillance at a casino. From something like three stories high ceiling, we could zoom in on money on the table games and read the serial numbers of the bills. We could see the pips on the dice. Policy was to not look down blouses. Maple sap can be trucked in from other states and where it's turned from sap to syrup decides on the state it comes from, not the location of the trees. Inbound call center, though we are currently experiencing an unusually high call volume message is permanent. They just didn't staff adequately. They are out of business now, but in the early 90s I worked at Radio Shack for a year and a half. When people would return an item because it didn't work, the manager of the store would just box it back up and sell it again as if it were new. When I asked him about it he said, hopefully they will return it to a different store. I nearly got fired when I refused to sell a guy a walkie-talkie CB radio that I knew didn't work. The guy was on his way out for a hunting trip and was buying three of these for him and his friends. We had two and the third was the broken one. In front of the customer, I told the manager that one didn't work and I had tested it. The guy was happy I told him, we arranged for him to get the last one he needed at a different store and off he went. The manager was livid with me and nearly fired me. I'm sorry, I'm not sending people out into the forest with gear I know doesn't work. Hilariously, a few months later the manager was caught stealing from the store and got fired. Government-funded refugee advocacy agencies at a time were approving a disproportionate amount of young women, 18 to 25, from Syria and Iraq with sexual assault history for their services. Upon further investigation I and my team discovered consultants from said agency were engaging in sexual relationships with these girls, they were denying them opportunities of employment to keep them in financial destitution purposely. When the girls became desperate the offer of private prostitution was made by the consultants. I whistle blew to the organization heads. They thanked me and the consultants were gone the next day, huge meeting with senior board, apologies, this isn't the way we do things. Speech blah blah blah. And within three months me and the other six other complainants and investigators had all resigned from the company for different reasons. On paper it looks coincidental, in reality we were all individually pushed out. Two of the consultants that we uncovered were doing the worst were not fired, they were given the option to resign and are currently working at other agencies with vulnerable young women.